been rushed from Virgil now for about 15 minutes. His right side is basically dry, so you can see there are areas that haven't gotten dry. Down at his feet itself, when he's standing, this is the ideal time to get the blower in and to do final touch-ups so that toes and the inside and the back of the hawks are going to be totally dry. It doesn't take a lot, but it's one of the details that it needs to be dry, especially at the base of the feet. Otherwise, when they go out, they're going to get a lot of dirt in there, get muddy, and end up knotting up very quickly. And we'll come from the back side. Just a few more brush strokes. It's not too bad. So it's always a good idea to do this little touch up on the feet before you lay them down onto the other side. There again, we see just a little bit of dampness in the front foot. Obviously, he needs his the hair cut out from under his pads. We'll get to cover that another day. And the other place that's worth checking is the back side. It looks pretty dry in there. A little bit damp on that side, which we can quickly get. So at this point, he's ready to lie down again. This time, he exposes his left side. When I do that, I'll brush a little bit extra hair over from the spine. That gives me better access to the wet ends. So all this side over from the line over will be exposed. And I'll be able to get all the dampness that's out of there. And that'll become immediately visible once I set him down. Okay. Be careful when you're putting the dog down that you don't end up crimping his feet between yourself and the table. It wouldn't take much to leave rich them and end up getting a bad spread or even a break. So now we reposition our dryers and do the same thing we just finished. So about 50 minutes, we're going pretty well on him. Be a little bit under two hours when it's completely dry. And generally, the second side will go faster than the first. Obviously, there's a lot of moisture is being soaked up by the towels he was lying on. And when you do a thorough job, you actually brush a little bit more than 50% of the dog. And so instead of having a full half of him today, you've got maybe 45%. If I hadn't brushed this back, it wouldn't be as easy to brush out because it gets stuck underneath them. And you can't get to the ends of the hair. It's a little detail that, if you don't know about it, it will actually help you an awful lot when you're doing the second side.